What's up all stars, this is JoeKingJohn74 here posting another video for the Let's Play NCA 13 Road to Glory series and today we will be facing the San Benito Greyhounds. Now before we go into the stories, before we go into the game, I want to explain some two comments that got my attention in the past four videos, in the past four episodes sorry and um, you know I want to explain it to you guys because one of them made me laugh and the other one I'm concerned about because I don't know if it's true or not. So here's the first one guys as you can see here, it's on episode 4. And um, it reads, you can change the fucking plate. Stop bitching. It was created by this YouTuber. And um, I don't know what the hell is his problem. I don't know if he's trying to be all big shit in the comment section. But make sure you have it back straight before you start thinking that you're, that you're all big shit in the comment section. Because you look like an idiot right now. Now, whoever played um, the NCA 13 or N any NCA uh, Road to Glory game mode. Then you should know that the only person who's allowed to change the play. It's the quarterback. Not the running back, the quarterback. The quarterback is the only one who can who was allowed to change the play. And uh, you can change the play in the play calling box, but you can change the play in the in the field. When once you're like running the play, like right there, and um, you can change the play right there by audibleing, and that's about it. You can audible with the quarterback only. He can switch from a run to a pass or a pass to a run. That's about it. The running back. Now the running back. The only thing he can change is the run route. You know, for example, they gave me a power O to the right side. I can move the right analog stick to the left and the run will go to the left side. That's the only thing I can change with the, with the running back. Nothing else. That's all I can switch. Now, before you start acting all big shit, make sure you get your facts straight. And make sure next time you comment in my comment section, make sure you have your mom behind you and be more mature. And it should this should have read, is it possible to change the play before running the play? That's all I should have read, man. But no, right now you deserve a smack in the face and make sure you, you head back to the elementary school because right now you're acting like a total douchebag. Now here's the next comment that caught my attention. As you can see here, it was, it was made in episode 1 and it reads, and it was created by this YouTuber right here be, by um, 1001 Me. It reads, sorry to disappoint you dude, but due to the stupid connected career mode, you can't import your Road to Glory player or draft class from Dynasty into Madden this year. Blame it on EA for ruining another game. Now, if it's true, guys, I will not stop doing this. I will keep going. You know, I'll, I'll run through the career of Joy Nandes all the way to college and um, graduate or get drafted early. Or I don't know what the hell's going to go on. And, um, you know, I'm still going to continue this career. If, if I cannot transfer Joy Nandes to Madden, you know, from this game to Madden, um, I'll just create him again. I'll just create him again uh, over there at Madden. And, um, you know, pretend like nothing happened. Nothing like this happened, you know. Because it is kind of sad if I cannot like draft my player from here because for sure I, i'm gonna start with like 73 overall over there if i create it over there if i uh if i like transfer from this from this game to another to the madden um i'll be able to start off like with 81 overall or something like that so yeah it is kind of a bad news but if it isn't true um then uh we don't have nothing to worry about then but uh hopefully it's not true man but, but like um but like um thank you uh, doesn't want me for letting, letting me know and now i'm concerned about that man i mean no, you're a good inf informer. So, um, so yeah, guys, make sure you like this guy's comment because you know at least he's uh, telling us like what's up in the future and stuff like that. So, uh, so yeah, guys, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed these two comments, especially the first one. I mean, he deserves a smack in the face and um and stuff. So, um, so yeah, they start off with the story of about San Benito guys and uh, about the uniforms that you see right now on pace. That's not how it's supposed to look. It was supposed to look like with white pants and green stripes but it didn't give me the freaking white pants i don't know why hopefully we can like switch uniforms on next year's um high school um road to glory thing because i don't really like it how it looks right now it looks kind of weird it looks like we're wearing shorts or something i don't know but that's not the uniforms we wore against san benito and um another thing about san benito is that we beat them um 36 to 14. the the quarterback was a scrambler and um he was kind of messing around with our defense so the defense did um this struggle a little bit and um but we like, they took a long ass time to score that they wasted like the whole quarter on um on themselves so it was their fault i mean sometimes we'll pick them off and we'll score like immediately and we were up like 14-0 and then they scored like and they took out they took a while but um you know so yeah they're wasting the time and um we can easily score against them i mean uh, me right now I, I was right tackle time i was starting as right tackle i mean i was dominating i was pecking but pecking came my guy i chop blocked him god damn you know and i got 16 prize at the end i was amazed i got the most prize out of the whole team that was my best game ever man the best game of my whole football career i was dominating the defensive end i pancaked him four times chop blocked him twice the running back scored through my side four times i mean it was amazing i, I, I was like 
you know, this coach is going to trust me so much, man. He, he knows that I have potential to block, man. And, you know, I got my block so easy. Though I'll, push the, I'll push the running back outside. I'll push the running, uh, the, I mean, the running back. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'll push the defensive end outside. I'll push the defensive end inside. You know, so easy for the runs to be going outside and stuff like that. I mean, everything was simple for me. The guy was... um at least 5'9", I think, or 5'10", and the guy for sure weighed like around 200 pounds, and I don't know, he was like a, he was supposed to be a speed defensive end, but uh, he wasn't, and, um, you know, I could easily get him off of me, and um, it was a, it was a great match for me, man. I had a lot of fun, I smiled, I even have a picture for you guys, you can see here, this is the the after game picture, I took it with my brother Dark Raven, yeah, it was an awesome game, man, I was hiding throughout the whole game, I was having fun with my teammates, I mean, I wish I could relive this moment again, but, you know, I mean, I'm done with football right now because, you know, I don't have the height and uh, stuff like that. So, yeah, you know, if I was to be like 6'1", then I can, I can, like, have a chance at some semi-pro team like my brother or something. I did enjoy this game. It was awesome. We were, in this point, pace was like 4-2, um, I think. And um, uh, we lost against McKellen like, Memorial and some... No, oh, never mind. I think we were like 4-1, I think. Well, I don't know, guys. I'll tell you this: the record at the at the last game or something, because I know the record at the end was um, six and four. Um, I'll tell you later on who, what team did we lose to. So, uh, so yeah, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this um, little story mode that I explained to you guys. I know it took a while. I'm in seven minutes already. God damn. Yeah, this is gonna be a long, guys. Video, guys, due to the comments. So, uh, so yeah. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the story mode. Leave a like. If you have st any stories of yourself, make sure you comment in the comment section. I'll read them, guys. So yeah, I'll see you at the end, guys. Holy shit, open ass field. Throw it to me, quarterback. Throw it to me. Oh, wow. Wow, quarterback. Really? You that blind? They can easily get like five yards in this one. Oh my god, are you serious? Get your fucking blocks! Seriously, think that I, we need to feed a steak to every single lineman that I have right here because goddamn, they don't block for shit on the high pack dives. Finally, I get some fucking yards. Open ass field to the left side. Oh my god, are you serious? Are you fucking serious? Oh my god. What? What? Alright, this time I'm not even pressing anything. Let's see what happens. Oh. Mm, what the fuck is wrong with this Alright, Oline. I'm gonna stay calm. I, I swear, after this play, I'm gonna give you the phone numbers of all the cheerleaders that I know. Now, come on, block for me. Yes, block for me. Come on, slow motion shit. Oh, girl. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Run your ass, boy. Run your ass, boy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, touchdown, baby. Touchdown, baby. Whoa. Whoa. 50 fucking yards. Yeah. Get your block, fullback. Wow. Seriously. Wow. You know, I don't want the brother of the tight end blocking for me. I don't get what the fullback goes in. And look at this. What the fuck? Are you serious? Wow. Tight end. Good job. Good job on your blocking, man. Finally, the quarterback, you throw it to me. What? What? Did you just steal my touchdown pass? Halfback stretch is the most easiest place to run because, you know, everybody gets their block as you can see here. Wow, run him over. Run him over. Get the fuck out of the way. Get the fuck out of the way. God damn, man. I should run all the way. Oh, my God. Not this play again. This guy's better block. God damn. Oh, here we go again. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Run him back. Let's go. Run over. Get the fuck out the way, bitches. Oh, wow. God damn. This could be another touchdown. Shit, I gotta get out of this end zone. Freaking irritating. Let's go. Let's go. What? O line. What the fuck was that? What did you let him throw for? Why? I could have taken care of that defensive back, but you let this guy through? Are you serious? You know, come here. Come here. I, got, I gotta smack you. Come here. Let's go. Let's go now. Oh, shit. Bitch! Get the fuck off me. You don't know who the fuck I am. There you go. Now you all blocking like a man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Bring it on. Oh, my God, receiver. Come on. You almost had it. Let's go. It's third and six. Let's go. Oh, my God. Let's go. Goddamn cornerback. Get the hell out the way. No. I could have scored one more. I could have at least scored one more. God damn it. But, um, you know, the cornerback was right in front of me and crap, and I couldn't get the touch. God damn it. At least it could have been like around 40 to 10, but no. Well, at least we beat the guys. At least we have a good record now. And um, I did a lot of yards. I did like around 200 yards in Russia. It was pretty amazing. I mean, I had a lot of fun doing this game, and uh, what else? Um, now that I think about it, I'm going to go to a bigger school instead of to a small school because, you know, I want to uh, running back to get noticed right right away because he's in a big school. Because if I start off in a small school, I'm gonna struggle a lot. You know, you seen the linemen of that I have right here. If I don't have good linemen or a good tight end, I'm gonna get fucked. <laughs> I'm gonna be screwed over from my, by my own team. So uh, so forget that. I'm gonna go to either LSU or to uh, Baylor to a four star to a five star school, and hopefully they have great linemen. Because I want I really want to run the ball, and I really want to start in a big school and be like all big shit. <laughs> And that's cool, and uh, hopefully it brings a lot of attention to the NFL scouts if, if the career if the careers connect. 
Now, if the careers doesn't connect, well, you know, hopefully you guys enjoy watching Dora and join us play and watch the career grow in front of your eyes and uh, see a lot of changes going through this player or this character in the field and off the field. So, uh, so yeah, guys, hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you guys have any stories of yourself playing football, you know, please comment in the comment section. I'd love to read them. And uh, if you have any questions or concerns, please comment in the comment section. And um, so, yeah, guys, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Leave a like and leave a comment. I'll see you guys in the next episode.